Hi, this next project came out of necessity using my Ekins inspection camera. This is a camera up here, right on top of my Amscope uh, microscope. Covered this camera in a previous video, but one thing that happens is that it has an autofocus mode, which is great because you can tilt the board and it will keep focusing. Uh, but it can also be annoying at times. Say you're soldering and you move the soldering iron in, all of a sudden it focuses on the soldering iron instead of the workpiece. And this, you know, sort of constantly happens if you're trying to solder. You get these um, refocus as you're moving the iron around. So what's really necessary is to come up with a way to be able to toggle the uh, focus on and off. So it does actually have a handy menu up here. It's got a mouse. Uh, you move the mouse up here. Uh, there's a manual focus button. Now, um, guy can move the soldering iron in here all he wants. It's not going to refocus on it. So that's great, but who wants to use a mouse when you're working under the microscope? You know, you've got to take your eyes off what you're doing, grab the mouse, move it over the corner. Ideally, you'd use a foot switch, like this one, and just toggle the uh, autofocus on and off. There's no I.O. inputs on this camera for any kind of a foot switch, so we can't do that in the obvious way. Uh, but what if we could just simulate the mouse? I mean, we know that it's fairly simple mouse movements to do this. So wherever the mouse is, it's always the case that you just take and move the mouse up here to the corner. The menu pops up. Um, and then if you move down to a fixed distance, you're at the manual focus button. And then a click. And then a simple movement up gets rid of the mouse. To return it to autofocus, just like before, move it to the corner. Uh, then a fixed distance down. And you can click the autofocus button then move it up and over here and it's gone again. We could also actuate the focuser, so if we're in manual focus mode, we click on the slider, now we can adjust the slider. Um, I don't have a keyboard hooked in at the moment, but if we had a keyboard we would see that pressing the left and right keys uh, would move the slider pointer back and forth. Um, and then again, move out of screen and it's done. So my thought is, I'll get rid of the mouse and I'll replace it with a keypad. And the keypad will run a microcontroller which I will program to simulate those simple mouse movements and those key presses that I needed to do those tasks. And I actually came up with this and I'm going to go over this uh, project in a little bit of detail. So let's go through the design. The microcontroller I'm going to use is this Arduino Pro Micro. Uh, now SparkFun I think was one of the first places to start selling these. Uh, this is actually a clone that I got off of Amazon. Um, and it's this chip right here. So the nice thing about the Arduino Pro Micro is it's got the onboard USB and the USB can operate in uh, USB device mode, also called USB gadget mode. And that allows it to appear to the host system as a keyboard or mouse. And you also program it through the very same USB here. So this USB can do double duty as both a programming port and a USB device. Um, so we're going to make use of that. We'll put it into mouse and keyboard mode and this microcontroller will look like a mouse and a keyboard. So the rest of this circuit is really very very simple. Um, I've got six total buttons here that can be implemented. I'm using Cherry MX Blue key switches. Uh, so each button will have two pins and when you press down the button it shorts pin one to pin two. I have put those in a matrix so there's three rows and there's two columns. So that allows me to implement all six of these buttons here with five I.O. lines, the two columns, the three rows. So each button also has a pad for an LED, and the LEDs have anodes and cathodes. So each LED cathode is connected to an I.O. pin on the microcontroller, and each anode is connected to a resistor, um, which is the current limiting resistor. So the other elements are a jack, which we will use for the foot pedal. It's just connected to an external input on the microcontroller. And up here is a header um, that matches the pinout for WaveShare e-paper breakout boards. I just have that because I've been doing some e-paper projects lately and I think uh, you know maybe I'll repurpose this project at some point as like a macro keypad for my PC with an e-paper display, who knows. But I figured why not run those extra pins out there. And here is the device itself. Um, so you can see the Arduino Pro Micro is plugged in up here, um, the external jack here for the uh, foot pedal is there, and we have five of the buttons implemented. Um, uh, auto focus button, which toggle between auto and manual focus, focus in and out, um, push to focus, and uh, take picture. Down here is the LED 
uh, dropping resistor. It's just a single SIP resistor there. I put two LEDs in. One is here, one is there. The only LED I'm actually using is up here in the autofocus button. Um, so if you pop these off, oops, you can kind of see how this, uh, this Cherry MX key switch is set up. Um, got the key switch plunger and then you've got a little footprint in there for the LED and you can populate that on as many of the Cherry uh, switches as you want. Uh, to make the keycaps, I just flipped the keycap over and I drilled a hole through it uh, with a Dremel and a Dremel drill press stand and then I squirted some uh, hot melt glue in there to kind of make a diffuser. And that's kind of how I do my illuminated keypad buttons on my various projects. Okay, here's the source code for the uh, camera controller program. So I usually don't go over source code, but I figured in this case uh, it's simple enough. And uh, this was actually my first Arduino programming experience uh, using the Arduino tool. And I think it's kind of cool to show off how this worked. Um, so starting out, I defined a bunch of pins for various um, things on the controller that I use. So pins for the LEDs, uh, columns and rows for the uh, keypad matrix, the external input. Um, then I define the sort of map those keys to the various functions. So um, the autofocus key was on row two, column one. Uh, the click to focus was on row zero, column one. The slide near and far focuses, the take a picture key. Um, there's some setup code that sets various pins to uh, inputs and also sets. Uh, the LED pins to outputs. It initializes the keyboard and mouse modules from the Arduino library. Then there's this uh, pull keypad method, which just loops through the various rows, setting each row uh, to a low output, and then checking each column to see if one of the columns has a low input. Um, if the column is low, when that particular row is strobed, then that means someone is holding down that key. So you stick all of those keys in a uh, in a bitmap in an integer variable. I think I got this technique from the uh, SparkFun code, uh, their sample code for doing a keypad. So the interesting part for this project is where we actually uh, do stuff with the mouse. So to move to the upper right corner, I issued a series of these mouse move uh, minus 100 uh, units. I think you can go up to 128 plus or 128 minus. Um, I did this 15 times because when I was writing this first, I thought, that these are, you know, like in, in pixel coordinates. I think they might be in like mouse coordinates. I don't know if you call those uh, Mickeys. I've heard them called Mickeys before. But 100 seems to be more than 100 pixels. Nevertheless, that worked. So that wherever the mouse is, that moves it all the way up to the upper left corner. Setting autofocus, you move uh, the mouse to the upper left corner, causes the menu to pop up. You wait a bit. Then you move it um, down 27 units and uh, right 15 units. At that point, you're sitting right on top of the autofocus button. Delay a little bit, click it, delay a little bit, and then we move um, right 100 units and up minus 50 units. That puts the mouse back off screen. Um, manual focus is the same, except we're moving over 70 instead of 15. So here's uh, doing the, the slide control. So th this part here is the same as uh, putting into manual focus mode. After it's in manual focus, then we move down to the slide bar, we click the slide bar, and then we write a right arrow key to the uh, keyboard. Uh, that's because clicking the slider actually caused the um, focus to tick one unit to the left, so we send one right arrow to compensate. Snapping a picture is similar. We kind of have to jog down to the picture button, we click it, and we move back off screen. So then the Arduino has this loop function. This is the main loop of your program. It continuously runs. This is where you do your polling and take your actions. So we do, we pull the keypad, then we check to see, did someone just release the autofocus key? That's one that we wanted to be a toggle. So if someone releases that key and we're in autofocus and we go to manual focus, if we were in manual focus and we go to autofocus, just a straightforward toggle. A couple uh, milliseconds delay to debounce. Um, the snap picture, if someone has just released the um, snap key, then we take a picture. Then we have the slider focus. So what I did for the slider focus is I implemented this kind of scaling delay where it starts out really slow. It starts out 125 milliseconds between uh, ticks. Then it goes to 50, then it goes to 20, then it goes to 8. So that means the longer you hold down the key, the faster it moves. That is useful because if you just want to like tick it just a few notches, 
Um, it's easy just to hold it for just those couple notches, but if you really want to blast far across the focus and hold the key down. And then the click focus, it just uh, forces it into autofocus mode, automatically switching back to manual focus mode. And finally, we uh, light the uh, LED. Okay, let's do a demo. So just to make this easier to demo, I've got the board here mounted via nice long cable uh, so we can see it. Eventually the board is just going to get mounted to the side of the camera. Uh, but right here is the, um, is the board, so you can see it's got its LED lit there on autofocus. So if I push that, you can see it very quickly moved over and pushed the manual focus button. Um, now we can move the board and it's not autofocusing at all. If I push it again, turn to autofocus mode on. There, it's got its autofocus. Now as I move the board, it's refocusing. Just like it should be. So I've also got these two buttons that are going to let me control the focus left and right. Um, so if I push and hold one, it'll focus out and the other will focus in. So there goes the focuser. And the other direction. So that allows us to do a nice manual user controlled focus. So then also we've got this uh, push to focus button down here. So here we're in manual mode and as long as we push and hold this it'll focus. There it's got it. Then when we let off it goes back to manual mode. Uh, so you know we can move our soldering iron in or whatever and it's not going to refocus. Then if we wanted to look at something else, push and hold the focus. And this is going to be what you would do with the uh, foot pedal. So the foot pedal will do the same thing as this button. And uh, over here is a button that will take a picture by pushing the uh, capture button on the card. And over here we have the jack for the foot pedal. So I'll plug in the foot pedal. And the foot pedal, as I said, it'll work just like the uh, push to focus button. So hold the foot pedal in, we'll refocus. Let the foot pedal back off, it's back in manual. Hold the foot pedal, it focuses, and let it off. Uh, so here it is mounted to the side of the inspection camera uh, via a little um, USB cable. I'm going to get an even shorter one on order from Monoprice. It's just kind of rubber banded to the side, but it's snugly held on there, and I can push the buttons uh, to turn the autofocus on and off, run the focuser, um, take pictures, whatever. Uh, so I think this worked out pretty good. I'm really impressed with uh, the value I got for the money on this Arduino Pro Micro. Uh, this project was super simple to design, super simple to hook up, and it seems uh, to be very, very reliable. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.